what's up amigos today we have a really special challenge so i was thinking about a cow and how aerodynamic it was and i thought could you make it more aerodynamic so this is the challenge for today we have a regular cow here and there are three rules to this challenge the first one is that it still needs to look like a cow any modifications that i do to it it needs to still look like a cow at the end the second rule is that I only have 30 seconds to make these changes because if you have like a, a week, you can make anything aerodynamic. So 30 seconds to sculpt whatever I need to do. And the third rule is that I can't change its orientation or anything like that. So I have to stay in the exact same location. So to, and to make it more aerodynamic, I'm just defining this as less drag in this particular case. So we did a simulation of just the cow to begin with so i could understand what was happening with the flow around it so i could get some ideas on what i wanted to do let's have a look at these uh, simulations now so this first one is an x plane three x planes behind the cow downstream and i just wanted to see how big the wake was with these these planes and how much uh, unsteadiness there is and we can see in all three planes there's a lot of unsteadiness and the wake is quite large to begin with and then it dies out fairly quickly but that means we have a lot to work with. If you have a large wake, it means that we can make small modifications and get some decent changes, hopefully. And this is a Y plane. So now this shows me a little bit of a different angle with different information. And from this, I can deduce that the cow has a big wake and there is this periodic unsteadiness, this shedding. So there's a Von Karma Street there to some extent, but a lot of the wake doesn't actually form from the back half of the cow if you look at the front half a lot of this separation is coming from the front bit and then just grows as you go downstream which makes sense so that means that i want to really concentrate on the front bit a little bit more than the back bit because that should make a bigger difference and now this plane shows the vorticity because i wanted to see this von Karma street and we can see that there is this periodic shedding of vorticity so these vortices but that's not the only thing happening with the wake so this von Karma street is not the only thing uh, present and it's sort of being overshadowed to some extent just by the regular wake itself and now finally the z plane and this is showing us a different angle so it tells me a few things again the wake is really starting from upstream you can see that the front part of the cow there is a lot of separation secondly there is also this unsteadiness in the downstream bit but also the wake is going down at an angle significantly so with this information i'm going to go over to blender and i'm going to use only 30 seconds to make some changes any changes i can while still making it look like a cow and we'll run it again and see if i can reduce the drag of this cow okay so from those other videos we saw that we have the cow here we saw that there were some regions that were producing a lot of drag and i'm going to try to reduce those here i've got 30 seconds on the countdown so quick let's i want to oh no wrong no 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 wrong wrong tool i want to smooth this area no i lost eight seconds there okay i want to smooth this shoulder as well quick let's go i want to smooth the head a little bit because the head was producing a lot of drag but it still needs to look like a cow so i want to just smooth this a little bit and the underbody oh, let's smooth the underbody a little bit and i've got eight seconds left so let's blob the neck here a little bit to make it a little bit more streamlined here okay that's two seconds left i don't know if i can do anything else oh okay so that was 30 seconds done if I had a bit more time, I would like to take up a little bit of a little bit of this underbody bit here, but that's it. Okay, so let me explain what I did here. I saw that in the videos, a lot of the flow was separating around the shoulders, and this means that, and that resulted in the rest of the cow being in quite a big wake, if you saw that as well. And that was because these shoulders were quite sharp, so I wanted to take those edges off. The other thing that I saw was that with the head, let me get out of the sculpting mode so I don't accidentally change anything. The head, there was quite a bit of flow separating as well. So I wanted to make this head a little bit more streamlined to take off that roundness and make it a little bit smoother. And I also wanted to make the neck a little bit smoother as well so that the flow would stay attached a bit more, and hopefully. And then finally, the underbody, I saw that there was some flow separating there and I wanted to make this a bit smoother so that it would gently follow it. Whether this is successful or not, I'm not sure, but let's give it a try now. So this is now the end result. This is the modified cow. You can see that it um, has that neck a little bit and the underbody. And we can see that the these X planes, they don't really look that different. It shows us almost nothing really. I think if anything, maybe the second plane is a little bit less wakey, but it doesn't look like too much here has changed. Let's move on to the Y planes instead. So this is a Y plane and we have the new cow here. <laughs> This is a major problem, actually. So because I was using the modification tools, they weren't symmetrically um, changing 
both sides. So what ended up happening was that now we have an asymmetry in the wake shedding. So even though the wake does look a little bit smaller, perhaps there is this um, significant asymmetry. So the the cow has um, a lot more side force to it, which is a potential problem. But we'll see at the end what the drag coefficients come out to be. Let's move on to the vorticity as well. Okay, so this is the vorticity, and I would probably say that these modifications probably made the von Kammer Street worse. It seems to be a lot more coherent and more dominant in the structure. So that's probably because of that um, asymmetry in the shoulder um, smoothing bit. If I made it a bit smoother, and also if I didn't make a blobby to begin with that first mistake, um, then maybe that would have been different. So let's move on to the Z planes. Okay, so these are the Z plane now of the new and the old cow of the original cow and we can see that there's a lot of similarity between the two obviously there weren't major changes to these cows but the downstream part the bottom half of the wake seems to be a little bit better for the new cow i think like you can see that there's a little bit more uh, lighter blue coloring there and the shedding seems to be a little bit smaller so that's beneficial and that's probably coming from the underbody part that i smoothed a little bit to begin with but the real question is, what did the drag coefficient come out to be? So the original cow, the drag coefficient was 0 0.472. And the new cow that I modified slightly came out to be 0 0.462. So that's a 2% reduction in the drag coefficient. It's not as much as I was hoping. I thought I could probably do like 5% or 10%. But in 30 seconds, that's pretty good, I guess, 2%. So I guess I'm happy with that. If I were to do this again, I'd probably go even further upstream and probably do something with the head, like the nose part, because I think that's making even more of a, an effect, having more of an effect on the wake than even the shoulders and the neck and the um, chest bit. The back part I'd also do, I'd make it a little bit more tapered so that the flow would um, like sort of shoot up a little bit instead of coming down. And the rear legs, I'd make a little bit sharper. And the reason why I'd do that and the whole back and in total because when you have a sharp um, trailing edge that allows the flow to separate at a predefined point so you can control the wake that way but overall i'd say this is probably a success i mean two percent reduction in drag um, with a 30 percent um, input of effort that's pretty decent let me know what you think and what you would change on this cow perhaps and make sure to like subscribe this and show this to any of your um bovine enthusiastic friends and i'll see you in the next simulation peace out amigos